Hey guys, I'm finally back. July was such a terrible month for me. I was just dealing with illness with me, with my daughter, back and forth, and just a few other things which really um, prevented me from doing any work. But now, back into the full swing of things, and I've set a hard deadline by the end of this year to finish a complete production version of the watch which I'm prototyping at the moment. In the last episode, where it left off was I sort of was making these three screws so now they're in full use and so now I'll show you the details of sort of how all that works. I've drilled and tapped the holes for the alignment pins and I've put in half of the alignment pins. Now the reason why I've done that is so that I can attach the existing movement plate onto my brass piece at the exact location every time and I'll use the other half of the holes to secure the plate to the uh, to the workpiece. Now I can center this on the lathe a lot more accurately as I'll be centering off the pivot hole inside the jewel rather than a deformed hole as I've pushed the jewel out of the brass piece. So it's time to test the method out. I was in China with family and we visited some amazing places there it's definitely an eye-opener but one thing I wanted to really visit while I was there was the seagull watch factory and the place is huge the watch museum and shop is located in the actual facility 
And when you go in, there's these two large buildings at the front and then there's just all these buildings. It's quite a large uh, complex. It's really, it was really eye-opening to see and you can see the history that they have there. So basically their first watch was made in the mid 50s, which was made completely in-house in China. The lighting was really bad in there. It was just really low, it was really dim and they had these lights projecting in the display units, which makes it a bit hard to take sort of any good photos or video. One thing that had this huge uh, wall, this huge glass sort of wall, which displayed all their movements and they have, they have a lot of movements. It'd be really interesting to see, um, you know, behind the scenes, how they're doing it now. I'm pretty sure they're using some Swiss CNC machinery, watches with single tourbillon. They have watches with two tourbillons. This is actually a five to one scale model of their tourbillon movement and it is quite large and it's really awesome to see. Um, they also have this double axis um, tourbillon movement, which wasn't moving. I'm not sure if it was designed to be moving, but it wasn't moving when I was there. This is the mm. mm. yeah. So if you're ever in China, I really suggest that you visit I suggest that you visit the um, watch museum there. I forget if we had to pay for entry. I'm pretty sure we did, but it is, it'd be fairly cheap. Uh, it's definitely something to check out. So this is where I'm at right now. I've uh, spotted all the holes and made all the recesses for the train wheels. Um, next, I'm going to do the balance uh, wheel and then I'm gonna move on to the barrel bridge. The barrel bridge has its complex details built in. There's a lot of holes and a lot of different recesses made on both sides of the plate. Um, probably the biggest challenge is a sort of quarter circular recess, which you can probably see a bit better now. It has very square edges, so it's not like a bore nose end mill um, that was milled from the top and they can't sort of and you can't really end mill uh, from the side of the plate as the edge of the bridge is actually higher than where the recess is. I have one tool in mind that could work. I'm not really sure. I'm gonna test it out next week. I just wanna thank you for being patient and sticking with me. Um, I know there was a huge break. If you follow the Facebook page or follow me on Instagram, um, I'll try to up those once every couple of days and as always thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you want to see any of my upcoming videos hit that subscribe button and if you have any questions or something you want to say feel free to leave it in the comment section below